Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here? Well, what we have here, we can multiply this directly x times x, that's x squared. Then we will also 3 times 3, and write it as 3 squared equals to this side as well 3 times 3, we have 3 squared. Then over x times x, that's x squared. Then next step here, we cross multiply x squared times x squared. Then also equals to 3 squared times 3 squared. That is from here, this also follows. Well, we have same thing multiplying, that is a times a. We can write it as a squared, which implies a as well. We can write it as x squared or squared. Equals to this side as well, we have 3 square or square. And from here, you take the right hand side to the left hand side, this becomes x square or square, then minus 3 square or square. Now equals to 0 from here. And this follows when we have difference of two squares, that is a square minus b square. This is the same thing as a plus b into bracket, then open bracket a minus b. That is here, a stands as x squared, then b standing as 3 squared, which implies what we have here, follow this and becomes x squared plus 3 squared into bracket, then open bracket, x squared minus 3 squared brackets then equals to zero here then next step here we have two possible cases the first one x squared plus three square equals to zero or we have x square minus three square equals to zero here then solving from the first case here this follows when we have a square plus b square which is the same thing as a plus b r into bracket and open bracket a minus b high. That is here, yeah, this follows what we have and becomes x plus 3 high into bracket, then open bracket x minus 3 high plus bracket now equals to 0 here. And also here we have two possible cases. The first one x plus 3 high equals to 0 or we have x minus 3 high equals to 0 here. Then here, taking plus 3 high here become minus. This x is now equals to minus 3 high. Then we have a complex solution here. And also on this side, we take minus 3 high here become plus and we have x equals to 3 high. Also a complex solution here. Are these two complex solutions from here? And so from the second case here, which is x squared minus 3 square equals to 0. This also follows from difference of two squares. When we have a square minus b square, which is the same thing as x a plus b into bracket, then open brackets a minus b. That is all we have here follow this and becomes x plus 3 into brackets then open brackets x minus 3 close brackets now equals to 0 here which implies here also we have two possible cases the first one x plus 3 equals to 0 or we have x minus 3 equals to 0 here solving here this gives us x equals to minus 3 which is a real solution here then here we have x equals to 3, which is also a real solution here. That is, we have two real solutions here, then two complex solutions here. And when we write it out, we can say that we have the first solution x1 as equals to 3. The second solution x2 equals to minus 3, which are 2 re, and we have x3 equals to 3 high, then also x4 equals to minus 3 high, which are the two complex solutions. That is, altogether, we have 
two ray and two complex solutions, making four solutions here. Then we can check as well to confirm if this satisfies this given problem. That is, we substitute the value of x here. First one, when x equals to 3, what we have becomes 3 over 3 times 3 over 3. Is it equals to, on this side too, we have 3 over 3 times 3 over 3. And 3 over 3 can be written as 1 times also 3 over 3, 1. Is it equals to this side as well, 3 over 3, that's 1 times 3 over 3, which is 1. And of course, we have 1 times 1, that's 1, which is equals to 1 times 1 is also 1. Left hand side equals to the right hand side. And we can say that x equals 3 satisfies this given problem. Then also, we substitute for x equals to minus 3. And what we have becomes minus 3 over 3 times minus 3 over 3. Is it equals to 3 over minus 3 times 3 over minus 3? That is minus 3 over 3. You can write that as minus 1 times. Also minus 3 over 3 as minus 1. Is it equals to this side as well? 3 over minus 3 can also be written as minus 1 times. 3 over minus 3 minus 1. Then here, minus times minus is plus. 1 times 1 is t1. Okay? Which is equal to here as a minus times minus plus. 1 times 1 does 1. We also have left hand side equals to the right hand side. That is, x equals to minus 3 also satisfies this given problem. And also, yeah, we substitute x equals to 3 high. What we have becomes 3 high over 3 times 3 high over 3. Is it equals to 3 over 3 high times 3 over 3 high? Then 3 over 3, we can write that as simply high times also 3 high over 3 that's high. Is it equals to 3 over 3 high? We can write that as 1 over high times also 1 over high. Then i times i, same thing multiplying, we can write that as i squared. Is it equals to here? 1 times 1, 1. And i times i, also i squared. Then we should note that i squared, same thing as minus 1. Then here we have minus 1. Is it equals to 1 over minus 1? At this here, we have minus 1, which is equals to 1 over minus 1 is also minus 1. Then left hand side is also equals to the right hand side. And hence, 3 high satisfies this given problem. Then we also sub substitute for x equals to minus 3 high. That is, this equation becomes minus 3 high over 3 times minus 3 high over 3. Is it equals to 3 over minus 3 high times 3 over minus 3 high? Then minus 3 high over 3. And write simply as minus i times also minus 3 over 3 that's minus i. Is this equals to here? Yeah, also we can write this as 3 over minus that's 3 over minus 3i. That's we can simply write this as 1 over minus i times also. 1 over minus i. Then here, minus times minus is plus i times i, that's i square. Is it equal to here? 1 times 1, that's 1 over minus i times minus i, also i square. And since i square is minus 1, we have minus 1. Is it equal to 1 over minus 1? And this is minus 1, which is equal to 1 over minus 1, also minus 1. Left hand side also equals to the right hand side. And therefore, minus 3 half satisfies this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos. And turn the notification bell on. Share this video. Give it a thumbs up. And put your comments. See you next class and bye for now.